Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe palette, and I'm gonna be giving a little bit of my thoughts and then using it. And just to let you guys know, I know that the restock is coming really, really soon. So right off the bat, I'd like to talk about the packaging really quickly because I don't know if any of you guys have gotten Morphe before, but they're normally in the typical plastic here. Um, they're normally in the very plastic kind of uh, black is their signature. Um, this one here is white and it is cardboard, but as you can tell, and honestly this might just be me because if you guys have been watching any of my videos, any palette, any palette that I ever get is super dirty and I barely started swatching these and this was just super dirty and I can't like clean it off. Her eyeshadows are so pigmented and so creamy and buttery that I swear to the sweet little baby Jesus, when I swatch my arm, I have to scrub to get it off. So I've not used it on the eye yet. I just filmed a tutorial using a with the blue wing, um, and that was a little struggle to get it off. Um, so I'm kind of nervous about using some of the dark shades, but let's do this. So if you guys want to see this look that I'm going to create, the smoky bombshell look using the Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe palette, then keep on watching. So starting off, I obviously did not receive this in a PR package. I purchased this with my own money and it did not come with the name sheet, which is really frustrating to me because if you're gonna give shade names to a palette and you're not gonna put it on the actual, cause there's room, if you're not gonna print it on the thing, then give a sheet out to everyone, not just your PR list, cause it's kind of crappy. Um, just because I like to know the names, I like to tell you guys what I'm using. So I'm going to start off, I just had to find this one online. <laughs> um, I'm gonna start off with the color Silk Cream right here. Using my big Sonia Kashuk palette and I am just going to buff that in my crease. I don't know what look I'm going for right now. Like at all. But we'll do it. <clears throat> Then next, I'm gonna be going into the shade right next to it, which is MFEO, made for each other. And these two are probably some, like, two of my all-time favorite shadows of the palette. Like, I am obsessed with these types of brownie mattes. I'm taking this Sonia Kashuk 109 brush in the color Mocha. It's a shade right here. I am just going to lightly deepen my outer V. Using this little fluffy angled brush, I'm going to darken it up a little bit and I'm going to be using Central Park, which is this one. Slightly darker brown. And then with the smallest amount, I'm going to take further up the more with the black shade, which is the color Abyss. And the same brush that I used Central Park for. I like this brush because it really packs it in and then I can blend it out and it just works out the best. So with every dark shade, I've just been going lower and lower and lower. So this black shade, I'm just going to keep right about there. Now just to make sure everything is properly blended, I'm going to be taking the Koki 627 brush. It's, I found this at Walmart. It's so soft and amazing. And I'm gonna blend that in with a little bit of the initial transition shade silk cream and just blend in circular motions and windshield wiper. Okay, now I was trying to figure out, I've actually been doing swatches to figure out which I wanted to do. Um, I always feel like I do a ton of warm looks, so I'm gonna actually go for the shade. I'm gonna go for this cool shade Hustle. So I'm gonna be taking it just on these flat um, packer brush. I don't know. So just really quickly, because there's a little bit of fallout, I'm gonna quickly bake under my eyes. I normally always do my eyes first, but I had them already, I had my face already done, so. Okay, so that's really pretty. It is just not giving me the vibe I need. No. 
it's not doing it for me. So on top of that, oh my hairs. I'm gonna go in with the color Obsessed. I'm gonna try it first with this fluffy packing brush. With the smaller brush, I'm gonna go in with this very reflective little shade right here, which I think is an enlightening or a beam. And I am going to apply that to the inner cap. As you can tell, I did get a little bit of fallout, but I'm gonna wipe that away now. The magic of baking. No, no. Okay. So I'm just gonna quickly blend a little bit. Oh shades together. Then using this Eco Tooled Tools dual ended brush, I am going to take silk cream and run that underneath my eye. And run it quite low. Just using the same brush, I'm gonna go to the shade next to it, which is MFEO, it's slightly darker. Then taking Mocha, which is that warm chocolate shade. And a little bit of a bit. Then I'm going to quickly put on my mascara, which is my me, my L'Oreal Lash Par Voluminous Lash Paradise. And then I'm going to be applying really quickly some lashes, and I'll be right back. So that is with the lashes on. I just applied the Lash Couture Faux Mink Lashes in the Kalanish Style Midnight, which looks like this. <laughs> just very fluffy, dramatic lashes. Sorry. And then I applied some black eyeliner to my bottom waterline and of course all of the mascara. Now my other contour is not holding up for this dramatic of a look. So we are going to amp it up. So using my same good old trusty butter bronzer, I'm just going to be taking this flat little brush and chiseling out a little bit more. When you go for heavier on the eyes, you need to balance it out with your makeup so that you don't end up looking just a little uneven. For my highlighter, I already applied one of my all-time favorites, which is the e.l.f. Moonlit Moonlight Pearls. I love it, it just, I'm obsessed with it. But on top of that, what I've really been enjoying using is this eyeshadow shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette, just with any kind of brush, brush that you like. Do, do you see that? Oh. Just laying it on top and it's stunning. It is such a blinding shade. For my lips today, I'm going to be taking the Kylie Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Coco K. And without a lip liner, I'm just going to go walls to the wall. For gloss on top, I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss just to give me, just to the center of my lips, just to give me a poutier look. And that is the final makeup look. 35 shades for $38. It's really good. It's amazing quality. Um, and I like how it has really for any kind of skin tone. And also it's got the cool reds. It's got colorful looks. I mean, this shade I want to do something with because it's amazing. Um, so I definitely think it's worth it. I really love Jacqueline. She is literally like the godmother, I think, of beauty gurus on YouTube. And I just, I'm obsessed with her. Um, so I really enjoy the palette. Um, I know that they will be restocking soon. And I obviously don't have a Morphe code. But I will link down below Jacqueline Hills. I believe it's Jack Attack. Thank you guys so much for watching and enjoying this video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
If you did though, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos and hit the little bell button down beside it so that you don't miss out when I upload. Also, please like this video and comment down below if there's any specific looks that you'd like me to create. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.